All right, Algebra 1, Lesson 101. This is on factorable denominators. All right, so what this looks like is a problem like this. 6x over, and it's got this x squared minus x minus 12. And then they want us to subtract p over x minus 4. Now, um, before we can add, we can actually factor first. So hopefully you remember, um, we're going to look at this right here, and factor this from previous lessons. So what you do is go x over x like that. Then you think of a number, what times what equals 12, but then you subtract it or add it equals 1. So I'm going to put 4 and 3. Okay, and because I want a minus or a negative number here, I want to put a negative here because negative 4 plus 3 is going to give me a negative 1. And then negative 4 times 3 is going to give me a positive, or a negative 12. So that's exactly what I want. Okay, so I'm going to replace this up here. that this is over this and then this is over this. Now, we need to come up with a common denominator. Okay, and as you can see, we've almost got a common because these two are common, but then this one's not. So, I'm gonna go in and write this like I would um, a normal uh, 3 fifths minus um, 2 tenths, okay? And we can come up with um, 10 as our common denominator. That's what we're doing here. So 6x over this minus p over x minus 4. Okay, now just like we do this and we come up with what times what equals and come up with um, our common denominator here, we've got this common denominator. Let me go and erase this one since I move it down. We've got this as a denominator and then this as a denominator. So all we need to do is add this x plus 3 down here for us to get it correctly. So I'm going to move this denominator over, just like I did the 10 and 10. That's our common denominator. And then this down here is our common denominator. Okay, just like 10 and 10. All right, so now, in order to go from here to here, what did I have to do? Just like going from 5 to 10, I have to times by 2 to get that. So I have to times by 2 up here. Same thing here. So x minus 4 is here. But then we also have x plus 3. So we did x plus 3 times that. So the word up here, we're going to do x plus 3 times that. So the final answer is p times this. So p times that is that. All right, and since this is our common denominator, we just bring it down or over. All right, so now I'm going to rewrite this now that we have it in the way we want to see it. 6x minus p x plus 3 all over, and then this is our common denominator, x minus 4, x plus 3. Okay? See that? All right, now, what we're going to do next is, you see how this p is times this? So this is going to go p times x, which is going to be px plus, and then p times 3, which is 3p. So I'm going to erase this and put that right there. Oops. All right. And that becomes um, our answer. Now, what they end up doing at the very end, this is our answer. But they go on and write what it was in the beginning. Uh, x squared plus um, a negative 1x plus a negative 12. Okay? And I believe that was what it was in the beginning. x squared minus x minus 12. Yes. Okay, and so this is the denominator. It's supposed to be right here, but anyway, and then that's the top. Okay, and that's the final. So let's look at another one. We've got two more and we're done. Let's go ahead and do another one. Here's what it says. 7 all over x squared uh, minus 5x minus 6. And the next one says minus 5, and then it's all over x squared minus 6x. Okay? Now, we got to factor both of these. So, let's go ahead and factor this one. x and x. You can do this on your own. I'm going to do 2 and 3. could be 6 and 1, so we'll find out. 
two and three, yeah, I think that's going to work. If we both have negatives, then that, no, that doesn't make a positive six. Two times, negative two times negative three makes a positive six, not a negative six. So that doesn't work. Um, let's see if there's another way. No, so it must be six and one. Six and one. All right, six times one. Um, I'm going to put a negative six and a positive one. That would give me a negative five when I subtract it and a negative six when I multiply it. Very good. All right, so that's that. All right, I'm going to want to move it up here. X minus six. Um, X plus one. Okay, and now let's um, go on and do this next one. Okay, this one, um, the way we're going to do it uh, is basically you ask yourself, because it's not like those ones that have the x squared, x, and a number, you basically ask yourself, what do both of these have? And 1x is what both of them has. So x times what? So x times x equals x squared. That's what we're trying to do. And then um, x times 6 equals 6x. So if I went like this, it would be, so if I went like this, it would be x squared minus, if I went like this, it'd be 6x, which is exactly what we're wanting, so we did it correctly. Okay, so you can kind of come up with a distributive property for that. Okay, so let me go and move this x, um, x minus 6. Okay, now, again, we're going to do the same thing. We're trying to come up with a common denominator. It looks like our common denominator is going to be x minus 6, x plus 1, and then an x. That way all three of them will have the same thing. So, um, I'm going to bring this one down. Now, again, I said that it's going to be x minus 6, x plus 1, and then just an x. You might only want to put the x here. That's probably where most of them do it. Let's see if the book does it that way. The book does it that way. Okay. And so this one up here is going to be the same. Okay. Now you ask yourself from here to here, what happens? And as you can see from here to here, it does not have this x plus 1 multiplied. So we have to do x plus 1 right here. So 5x plus 1. Then from here to here, it looks like we don't have an x. So 7x. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and multiply this. This would be 5x plus 5. So I'm going to erase that 5x plus 5. Now, now that I have written it all out, okay, I'm just going to write my numerator minus my other numerator. 7x minus 5x plus 5 all over, and then this is our um, common denominator. Okay? Now, when you get down to this place, hopefully you see that we have a like seven dogs minus five dogs. That makes two dogs. Hopefully you remember that from previous um, lessons. Okay? Two x plus five. All right? But, oh, I just now saw this. You see this minus? I should really should have put in this minus here um, because when we multiply this 5x times 1, I'm going to have to redo this, so I'm going to hold up on this for just a second. I just realized I did not carry my minus over. So this is going to be 5x plus 1 like that. Okay, so see, you see this minus. So let's want to do 5x, which would be 5 times x, which is 5x plus... Um, Actually, let's do it like this. Um, okay, so this minus right here goes plus negative. So now I go negative 5x plus negative 5. Now I'm going to write that negative 5x plus negative 5. Okay, now I've got 7x plus a negative 5x plus a negative 5. And again, 7x plus negative 5x equals 2x plus a negative 5. And then all of that over this. And that's how we leave.
leave it. Okay? One more. All right, this one is 4x plus 2 divided by x squared plus x plus a negative 6 minus 4 all over x squared plus 3x. Okay, again, we're going to factor these. So x and x, and then we need to come up with, so let's do 2 and 3. 2 times 3, and I'm going to put my negative here, my positive here. That, that'll give me a negative 6 when multiplied, but a positive 1 when added. Good. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this and put this above it right here. All right. Now let's do this one. Again, because it's not x squared 3x in a number, you have to ask yourself, what do both of these have? They both have an x. So let's take an x out. If it helps you to go and put xx plus 3x, and you take 1x out, then you just have x plus 3 left over. See that? x and x plus 3. So that's what I'm going to do. x and x plus 3. All right, so that becomes our denominators. And I'm going to bring this down. So minus 4 over x, x plus 3. Okay, now we're going to look at this and this and see what we can combine. So in order to combine this, I'm going to take this and this, and then we just need this left. So x, x plus 3, x minus 2. And that's going to be our common denominator. Okay? Now, from here to here, what happened? x minus 2 happened, right? So, I'm going to pay, I don't want to forget this again. This negative 4 x minus 2 right here. See that? And then from here to here, the only thing we're missing is the x. So times x times x. So this x times this would be x times 4x plus 2. Okay? Got it? All right. So now what I'm going to do is write x, 4x, plus 2. Actually, let me go on an answer for that. Okay? Let me make sure that's what it's doing. Yeah. So, this becomes 4x squared plus 2x. So, I'm going to bring that down. 4x squared plus 2x minus or plus a negative. And then let's go and do this. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x minus, so I'm going to say negative 4 times a negative 2. This would make that plus. Negative 4 times negative 2 would be a positive 8. So then I'm going to bring this down, negative 4x plus 8. Okay? All over this. That's our common denominator. Now, we're not done because I see some like terms I can do something with. This is a like term and this is a like term. So 2x plus a negative 4x would be like 2 dogs plus a negative 4 dogs would be negative 2 dogs. And then I'm just going to bring my 8 over. Okay? And I think that's going to be the final answer. Let me see if there's anything else that I want us to do. They just leave that like that. Okay. That is lesson 101.